Hi everyone, so I thought, uh, you know, since I've picked up a few new fans this past uh, week after releasing my Pain of Salvation and uh, Metallica video, uh, Metallica John Petrucci video, that I would uh, try adding a little bit more content. I One, I can't help but notice how close I am to 100 subscribers, so that kind of gives me a little bit more incentive to try to uh, do videos, and I've picked up a few new ones in the last week, so... Maybe it's a good idea for me to kind of come back to this channel, take it a little bit more seriously again, and see just what kind of uh, content I can give you all. Now, uh, I can't promise that I'm going to be doing reviews every week. I can't even promise that I'm going to do a weekly series like this every week. Uh, it really depends on a lot of other factors, but I thought, you know, uh, this is going to be just kind of the first of what I hope is going to be a few uh, sort of recurring segments on this channel. So, uh, this is kind of a what have I been listening to this week. Just uh, a bit of a vlog style kind of video of, you know, me going over what's been going in one ear and out the other this week. So, this week's been a bit uh, interesting for me because I've been in a bit of a jazz fusion mood. And uh, I've been spending most of this week listening to the works of Alan Holdsworth, who is just one of the most incredible guitar players ever to have lived. And uh, he has some of the most impossible chords and solos you can think of in any genre. And uh, I've really been enamored with his uh, Road Games EP, uh, the IOU album, as well as Metal Fatigue. Some really incredible guitar sounds on those records, and, uh, you know, I think if, you, if you're if you not really too sure of whether you're going to uh, be into jazz fusion or not, uh, give these albums a shot, you know? If you're a lover of really cool guitar playing, you'll probably find something really enjoyable with these records. Now, uh, stemming from that, I realized that Alan Holdsworth was a member of the band UK, and... Uh, I'd listened to their debut album way back in the day, like just after high school, and I'll be honest, I wasn't really into it back then because I didn't really care so much for older prog rock at the time. You know, I was still very much a Pain of Salvation, Arion, Dream Theater kind of kid, and the idea of listening to like old Genesis and Yes wasn't really my cup of tea at the time. This week I said, well, you know what, I, I haven't listened to it in a long time, and I don't even remember the record, so I'm going to go back, and it's kind of going to be like me rediscovering it, and holy cow, I was blown away. So one of the things I really sort of took from it is uh, that sort of intro suite of In the Dead of Night, In the Light of Day, and Allegro and Vivace and Reprise uh, it kind of reminds me a bit of Haken, a little, in a way, uh, particularly the song 1985. Which is weird, because this track is from 1978, a whole seven years earlier than that. So maybe Haken got it wrong, they should have called it 1978 instead. But uh, UK's intro suite on that album is just utterly fantastic. I mean, you've got some really excellent keyboard and violin work from Eddie Jobson. Uh, Alan's guitar playing is as scary as ever. Uh, John Wetton does an absolutely fantastic job with the bass, and of course you've got Bill Bruford on drums, so uh, that album's kind of become sort of my album of the week. Now, mentioning that I'm in a bit of a jazz fusion mood, I do have to mention some of the other fusion records that I've been spinning recently. Uh, one of them it comes from a bit of an unlikely source. Uh, one of the clients that I work for on my day job uh, had a pile of records out, and one of them, the one that was on top, happened to be Jean-Luc Ponty's Imaginary Voyage. And I know that name from, you know, many different sources, uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra, Frank Zappa, uh, to name a couple. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this album a bit of a chance. And I did, and I found that the first couple tracks on it were absolutely fantastic. Uh, I gave the rest of the album a listen, and it's really good. None of it really stuck with me as much as I would have liked it to, but those first two tracks of uh, New Country and uh, I think it's The Walls of Babylon or something like that, um, absolutely terrific tracks. 
And speaking of Mahavishnu Orchestra, of course, I've been spinning their first two records, uh, The Intermounting Flame and Birds of Fire, quite a bit. Uh, absolutely classic guitar-driven jazz fusion records. Aside from that, I've listened to a smattering of songs from both uh, Weather Report, particularly the classic track Teen Town, as well as Al Di Miola, uh, especially uh, Race to the Midnight Sun, which is, I mean, I can see where John Petrucci might have gotten some influence from that. It's sort of the uh, Racer X scarified of its time. So, yeah, some really fantastic guitar and bass work on those two tracks. Now, of course, I can't talk about uh, what I've been listening to this past couple weeks without mentioning, of course, that uh, I've been listening to a lot of Pain of Salvation's newest album, Panther, uh, which I reviewed last week, and uh, a little bit of the new John Petrucci. I haven't listened to the Metallica one as much since... I think I just kind of got a bit of a sour taste from the fact that the Metallica album just didn't have all that much new stuff on it, and whatever was new was kind of unfocused. So, yeah, that about covers what I've been listening to the past week or so. Uh, There have been, of course, other songs. I've been listening to the new single that I released with my friend Shane Bazinet, which is called Wayward Mind. It's available on Spotify. Yeah, I'm advertising for myself. But uh, yeah, that's been something I've been listening to. I've been listening to a lot of my own music this week as well in preparation of uh, making my debut EP under the Borealia name, which is also going to come out sometime before the end of the year. I'm hoping by the start of winter you'll see a release. But I've been listening to a lot of my own music, just trying to tweak it, get it remixed, to the point where I'm almost tired of my own music, not gonna lie. So yeah, that covers what have I been listening to this week. I'm also going to be using this segment to sort of talk about any physical music releases that I've picked up, and I haven't picked up any physical releases this week because I'm broke. (laughs) Not really, but yeah, just no opportunity or means by which to pick up new music. COVID's kind of put a bit of a dent on uh, physical media in my hometown, and uh, I'm tempted to buy the new Pain of Salvation record physically. I kind of want the vinyl, but I don't know. This is a really sort of impromptu, not very formal video thing. I'm going to try to do one of these a week. I'm going to aim for Friday. Uh, for your info, what am I drinking right now? It's uh, Coke and uh, Jack Tennessee Honey. Good stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.